the first time you open iWeb, it's going to ask you to take and create a page for your new website. As you have many, many different choices here, you can take and choose a blank page, or you can use any of the other pages that they have designed. We're going to take and then choose this one here. If we come up here to the site, it asks us for information regarding the site. We can take and publish it to MobileMe, we can have an FTP server, or publish it to a local folder. We have these different choices that we can do. But the first time when we place a name inside of this site, every time that we go to iWeb, it's going to open up this site. Once you take and initiate your first site, you know, like I have here, and the name of my site is Surveillances, okay, you actually initiate a page. And let me show you what happens when you don't have a website. Now, it's real simple. If you go to your main site, and all you have to do is come over here and uh, click on File, and it's going to ask you if you want a choice of a new page or a new site. Currently, I'm in uh, my Dave's Observations, which is a site within a site on iWeb. I'm on the football pool. So if I want to take and create a page, all I do is uh, click on Page. Page will be created. Now, if I want to click on a new site, what it's going to do is take and create a new site within my main site. So I'm going to have another one of these little uh, world things here, and it's going to create, uh, like Dave's observation, it's going to create another site. But it's also going to want to take and do a page at the same time. I'm going to have to give it a name. These are FTP sites that I have, so each one is uploaded to the same FTP server. My main site here is FTP uh, surveillances .us. I really want to take and create a separate site aside from all this and I want to take and create my own site and call it DaveNortons.com for example. Okay, what I can do and not be part of this site is to close this up and go to um, my finder box. Okay, once in my finder box if I go to the library and I hit library and I look go to application support and then I go to iWeb okay it's going to open up the main directory of iWeb for me. So in order to take and create a totally new website I have mine set up so that I already duplicated my domain and I call it template. Let's take a look and see what happens. If we move all this stuff out of this folder. Okay now we go to iWeb. It's asking me choose an iWeb domain file. I'm going to create a domain is what I'm going to do. Okay and then down here it says choose so once I hit choose, I'm going to have a template for a new page come up. Usually I use a blank one. And then I hit choose. I like to get rid of all this so I do not include the page in my navigation or display navigation menu. I take the text and delete it. I also take and delete this line. So I start with a new slate. You have the beginnings of a new site. Then you would come over here and then in place in these boxes the type of the information, the publishing information, the site name that you're going to name it, and so on and so forth, and it will show up back in the, uh, the iWeb folder. For example, I'm just going to take and uh, pull some media in here. Okay, we're going to go to iPhoto, my photos, and I'm going to take and pull in a couple chickens. So we got our two chickens in here. We could call this the chicken site. So I'm going to call this here chickens. You know, just build it like you would a normal page. Uh, for guidance in doing that, uh, check out eye to eye. Just once this is done, say like we close this. It's going to ask us, do you want to save that? Yeah, we're going to save it. We have a new domain. We already have this domain that's outside of here too. Okay, so we can't have two domains. So what I'm going to do is take and call this one here, chickens. So now let's take and move our other stuff back into it. Instead of creating chickens, what you could do also, you can just take and you could call it template. So when I click this on, it should open up and allow me to take and immediately to choose a page. Okay, and then I can take and rename the site here. If you have not set up a, a blank site, and it's good to have the blank site in your folder. Having a blank template site, okay, will allow you to take and continue to make new domains. And as long as you don't build um, sites within the new domain, it will be a specific site to that particular domain name. Now every time that you open iWeb it looks for this domain and it's going to open this domain or the thing is you can go to this folder your sites and you can take and move these things into a separate folder 
like I have here on my on my page that comes up in the finder and I all I have to do is click on iWeb and then open the file that I'm looking for to work on so we're gonna have customers and websites and what we're gonna do is locate them in this folder and to do that here all I'd have to do is take and say drop this in that folder and it would become part of the folder then when I wanted to come and open up my customer websites all I'd have to do is here and there I am Let's go back we just hit the back button and we are there and this is how you take and set up additional domains inside of iWeb